Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uploading tons of content on YouTube is not enough to succeed. You'll have to follow some best practices that can help you achieve your results faster and better. So you might be wondering, what can a man with around 1000 subscribers knows about YouTube SEO? Yep, that's a good question. But I do have another channel, which I was able to grow from 0 to 1000 subscribers in just 25 days. And currently I have around 100k subscribers. And I forgot to mention that it's in my mother tongue, Tamil. So if you are from Tamil Nadu or can understand Tamil, feel free to check it out. I have given the link in the description below. In order to rank your videos on the first page of YouTube, one of the most important thing to do is to use the best keywords. So how do you find the best keywords for your videos? You don't have to worry about that because in this video, I will show you exactly how you can find the best keywords that can help you rank on the first page of search results, even though you have a few subscribers. But before that, if you are new to this channel, my name is Dave and this channel is all about online business, legit page to make money and entrepreneurship. So if you are interested in any one of these, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss my future videos. So before getting into how you can find the best keywords, let me give you a small explanation about the types of keywords. There are two types of keywords. One is a short tail keyword and the other one is a long tail keyword. What is the short tail keyword? A keyword that doesn't contain more than three words can be called as a short tail keyword. What is a long tail keyword? A long tail keyword is basically a sentence of more than three words and it's more specific. Okay, let me give you an example. As you can see, YouTube keyword research is a short tail keyword. Why? Because it doesn't contain more than three words and at the same time, it is definitely searchable. Maybe you could have searched for YouTube keyword research to find this video. And when it comes to long tail keyword, as you can see here, how to do keyword research for YouTube. So it is more specific and it is a sentence which has more than three words. So I think you could have understand the difference between a short tail and the long tail keyword. So which one of these should you use in your videos? The answer is you should focus on using keywords which have high searches but low competition or medium competition. Okay, let me show you how you can find these keywords. So we are going to use a tool called VidIQ. I have also given the link in the description below. So feel free to check it out. And I have been using this tool for a while now and it is definitely fantastic. So you can just sign up here. After you create an account, just swipe down and click install VidIQ. Then click install Chrome extension. The install button doesn't appear here because I have already installed it. You can click the install button and install the Chrome extension. Okay, how do you use it? So let me log in my account. So once you enter your dashboard, click keyword from the menu. So for example, let me search a keyword. So what type of keyword should you use? Few long tail keywords and few keywords with high volume but low or medium competition. So let me tell you how you can select these. So when it comes to long tail keywords, it should be specific. For example, if you take this video into consideration, let me search for how to find keywords for YouTube videos. So as you can see here, we have a search volume of 3076 and the competition is low, whereas the overall score is pretty good. So you can just click here. And now it's displaying keywords from high to low overall score. So you should be using keywords which have a high overall score. So let me select few long tail keywords. As you can see here, how to find low competition keywords. It has a good search volume. At the same time, the competition is pretty low and have a good overall score. Let me select it. And other few keywords, which is very similar to your videos. All the keywords I have selected here have low competition. At the same time, have a pretty good search volume. So what should we do now? We should select keywords which have a high search volume with low or medium competition. So you can click the small arrow here, the search volume. So for this video, I can select YouTube SEO, which is similar to my video. And at the same time, it has a high search volume and also low competition. Keyword research. And these are short tail keywords, but the volume is pretty high. And also the competition also low or medium. So now we have selected keywords in proper proportion. And other than this, you should also use keywords, which is very much specific to your video. And you don't have to worry about the search volume or overall score or competition. Just use keywords which is very specific, which relates to your topic. And these are few keywords that highly relates with my topic and I didn't consider about the volume or competition or overall score. Just see if it highly relates with your video. 
so the next thing is very simple just copy the tags and paste it in the tag section that you can see while uploading your youtube video and also guys this full list of keywords will be displayed only in the paid version of vidiq if you are using a free version vidiq displays only the top five keyword and i am using this pro plan and it costs only ten dollars a month so if you are paying it annually you'll get it around 7.5 dollars a month and this is definitely a good investment for your youtube so once your channel has been developed you can upgrade to boost or boost plus according to your needs and still now i use this pro plan which is sufficient for my needs so if you ask me is there any other free alternatives that you can utilize then i would recommend two methods so let me show that to you right now so the first one is youtube auto completion tool so once i search how to find youtube auto completes and suggests those few keywords like how to find diamonds in minecraft how to find square root how to find villages minecraft so you can use this tool to find keyword ideas but these are not related to our video let me search how to find keywords so once i search for how to find keywords youtube displays few keywords that are related to our videos like how to find keywords for youtube video how to find keywords for blog how to find keywords for youtube channel so since this topic is about finding keywords for youtube let me add how to find keywords for youtube so now youtube suggests similar keyword ideas like how to find keywords for youtube videos how to find keywords for youtube videos tamil how to find keywords for youtube videos in mobile and so on so you can get few keyword ideas using this auto completion method and this is not just auto completion people are searching for this youtube suggests keywords that people are searching but the disadvantage here is you cannot find how much search is taking place a month or the competition for these keywords and there is one more free tool called google keyword planner i have also given the link to google keyword planner in the description below So once you are in, just click discover new keywords and try to search for a keyword. Let me search how to find keywords for YouTube. Click get results. So this displays the competition average monthly searches. But these are not the keywords that is ranked in YouTube. These are keywords which are being searched in Google. So you can find lots of keyword ideas using this too. And this is also completely free to use. So the first method is to use vidiq and this also has a lot more features that will help you to grow your youtube channel so if you are serious about your youtube channel and can invest ten dollars a month you should definitely go for this pro plan or you just want to get few keyword ideas you can definitely go for youtube auto completion tool or the google keyword planner other than that a final tip to find keyword ideas is to think about how a person searches for your videos for example if you are uploading a video about let's say weight loss if it was me I may be searching like how to reduce weight or weight loss tips. So just think about how a person might search for your videos. And those are keywords that you should also consider using. So here we come to an end of the video. Hope it was useful. If it is, make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace. Success leaves clues. Knowledge is the key. So equip with the right tool.